It's Python on Hardware. News time. Our newsletter is rapidly approaching like 10,000 people. So there is a bunch going on. Every single week, it's jam-packed. This is one of the bigger ones. So I'm going to go through a couple specific Chunkin. things. Um, but just to give you a taste of what's here, from e-ink displays to uh, birds that detect... Uh, oh, I love this. Yeah. The canary in a cold mine. Yeah, that detect uh, if, if the air is okay or not. Uh, lots of macro pads, lots of different um, projects, all Python powered. Um, it is kind of never ending. Uh, one interesting thing that I thought, uh, Elector is now doing uh, Python on hardware. Mm. So uh, it looks like it's everywhere. Um, but this week, the thing I wanted to talk about first was a follow-up. So uh, this is just from the last few weeks we've been talking about this. So three weeks ago, I think we started the, the, Not the, the week, but the week before, the, the so it's been two weeks. The fundraising for MicroPython. So MicroPython doesn't have hardware to sell right now. We normally buy hardware Wait, from Wait, why not? Chip shortage. Chip shortage. Yeah. It's a chip shortage. Okay. And um, we said, you know, every year we donate, every, th every year we celebrate how many years uh, MicroPython's been around. And, you know, we have a version that's built on top of MicroPython, CircuitPython, and... We said, well, let's do what we always do, donate money, but maybe we can get more people to join. Because there was only 84, and it really had to move in a year. And the sponsorship, uh, the, the way to donate is on GitHub, and they have a sponsorship thing there. So uh, it got up to uh, 121. So 84 to 121. They hit their first goal of 5000 a month um, after we helped get the word out, and all of you helped out and joined. And so what happens, though, is you can't see the goal anymore because they reached the goal. So they now upped it up to $10,000 a month. They'd be able to do a lot more with MicroPython. So I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, who uh, did a one-time donation or a uh, monthly sponsorship. Even if it's like a buck a month, for the number of people that use MicroPython, they would be able to uh, – they'd be a multi-million dollar uh, company. Uh, so it's something to think about if you, if you use it. Um, consider doing it. You can do it one time. You can do um, something. Normally, we'd also say buy hardware from Adafruit that MicroPython makes, but there isn't any. So this is one of the things we're trying to help out with. So for the folks who did, thank you. And for the folks who are on the fence, please do it. And then in CircuitPython news, uh, Anne was on the Teardown sessions with Helen over at Crowd Supply. So you can check out Ladies, interview talking Python. How could you not run, run, run yeah. to go listen to this awesome podcast? And then Make uh, just did a review of the Metro ESP32 S2, includes CircuitPython. And then big super thanks when folks use CircuitPython and they're over on GitHub, they can hit like, they can hit star. Yeah. They can, it does nothing monetarily. It just says, wow, cool, wow. thanks. Cool. So thanks. Adafruit CircuitPython, you can see our little stars and um, we're still going up that way so we're up to 3,000 if you use it please consider clicking it it does let us know that you like it and uh, care um, we deliver this newsletter every single week you can go over to adafruitdaily.com and it's a separate site we don't spam we don't harvest we don't have pop-ups on any of our websites we don't have all sorts of weird things that make you feel gross when you go to a website we don't do that um, so we, it's not easy to s sign up for things accidentally with us, um, but if you want this newsletter, go to adafruitdaily.com. And that's this week's Python on Hardware. Thank you, Blinka.